Welcome to Sentient Prime Training and Tutorials. I'm Christina, and I will be showing you the mechanics of a Sentient Prime implicit test and how it measures the strength of non-conscious association with any stimulus you want to test. To start, let's look at the interface, which every survey participant will see. You can see there are two feedback gauges on the screen. The one on the left, with images of a tortoise and a hare, let the user know how quickly they're responding relative to the average. The gauge on the right, with the check mark and the X, let the respondent know how accurately they're responding relative to the average. Our research demonstrates that these gauges greatly increase data quality by motivating respondents to answer as quickly and accurately as they can. The circle on the bottom left shows the percentage of progression through the current test. If necessary, the participant can pause the game. If the browser is no longer the active window, then the game will automatically pause. When the participant returns and clicks play, they will be served up a few dummy evaluations to re-socialize them to the active test. In the middle of the screen, there's a three-dimensional display of two contrasting concepts. These concepts, or buckets, are populated with opposing terms such as excitement versus disgust, or modern versus old-fashioned, or even brand X versus not brand X. The three-dimensional display instills an approach avoidance framework which improves the platform's ability to isolate the implicit signal. Instinctually, we want to bring things we feel positively about towards us, and things we feel negatively about we want to push away from us. Before any exercise begins, participants will be provided with instructions tailored to their device type. They will be told that words or images called targets will appear in the middle of the screen and need to be sorted correctly into one of two buckets, either up or down. If they have a touch screen, they will be told to swipe the targets using their finger. If they do not have a touch screen, they will use the up and down arrow keys on their keyboard. Each target has only one direction it can go, and the platform provides feedback on both correct and incorrect responses. If incorrect, the participant will need to sort the target in the opposite direction. Every implicit test is comprised of two rounds. The participant will first perform a practice round, which only involves sorting targets into their correct buckets. In addition to socializing the participant to the mechanics and elements of the task, the data collected from this round is used to calibrate the results to their unique cognitive ability and response latency variability. After this practice round comes the priming round. Participants are told to perform the same exact sorting task while ignoring words or images that will flash on the screen before each target appears. These flashing words or images, called primes, are presented for 500 milliseconds prior to each target appearing. A prime will be paired with each target multiple times, and the platform records the impact of these primes on the participant's ability to sort the targets quickly and accurately. The result of the test is a strength of implicit association between each prime and the bottom bucket on a 0 to 200 index scale, where 100 is equal to a neutral association. As scores go above 100, they become strong associations, and as they go below 100, they become weak. You will be able to access our database norms after the study has closed in order to compare results across industry verticals or geographies. This covers everything you need to know about the participants' experience with an Ascension Prime implicit survey test.